hybrid feeder, hook bait on, that's just attached with a bayonet, it's pushed right in there and I test it in a little bucket as well just to make sure that that waft is just bringing that hook down perfectly so it's critically balanced. First layer of pellets, again like I said earlier these are the mainline cell two millimeter pellets and I've added a few of them with the hybrid liquid so we've got a little bit of color in the bait. So there you go, first layer on. What I do for the first layer is I press them in as, well, pretty much as hard as I can, keep it exactly level, and then we pull the hook over. This is a cool little tip, is when I put my hook in, I always make sure, because it's a offset hook, I always make sure the point is facing upwards towards the fish's mouth. That's in the optimal position there, right in the middle of the feeder. Then I'm just gonna get a small amount, just in my hand, and roll the feeder in it. So that hook bait stays exactly where it is, because we're casting a long way, we want it to be nice and aerodynamic. The feeder will do most of the work, so by just moulding the bait round nice and evenly around the top of the feeder, we'll have a perfect little aerodynamic space rocket that can get to the distance you need it to. The pellets are on nice and tight there. Don't be scared about squeezing them on. As soon as they touch the water, they will start automatically breaking down. So there you go, that's that. And then the big trick, bit of pineapple goo, and I've literally today, I want this to be impactful. I want the fish to find it. I've literally been covering the feeder in the goo just before I cast, and that will go out, and that will leave a huge column of flavor, scent, and color going through the water, and hopefully any passing fish will go down, get that round, and my tip will go around. Easy. <laughs>